Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, July 16th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Now, it is now just eight days until I head to Los Angeles for the 2013 Summer Television Critics Association press tour. I will be reporting from the Beverly Hilton Hotel from July 24th through August 7th. Now, let's officially begin today with the worst-kept secret in television. Jenny McCarthy has been named a new co-host of The View on ABC. It was announced yesterday by Barbara Walters, and she will make her official debut in September. Now, once Barbara Walters and Joy Behar also leave, there will be two more co-hosting chairs on The View to fill. Now, over at ABC Family, the cable network has not made it official yet, but the Lion Game star, Alexandra Chanro, confirmed yesterday via Twitter that the Lion Game is not returning for a third season. ABC Family has canceled it after two seasons and 30 episodes. I received an email from a fan asking if there would be an official final episode, and there is no word on that yet. Now, over at Spanish-language network Telemundo, it will have its own version of culinary competition Top Chef in 2014. It is called Top Chef Estrellas, which stands for Top Chef Stars, and I have more information for you on it at our website at www.tvmediainsights.com and in today's newsletter. Let's head over to A&E. Upcoming reality series Modern Dads, which is set in Austin, Texas, and will follow four fathers who trade their jobs for staying home with the kids, will debut on Wednesday, August 21st at 10.30 p.m. Heading over to USA, the upcoming eighth season of Psych will feature a story arc with Academy Award winner Mira Sorvino. She will play Santa Barbara's newest head detective, And to the fans wondering if this will be the final episode of Psych, USA has not confirmed that yet, so if the ratings hold up, it could still continue. Over at FX, the cable network has released the Live Plus 3-day data, which is the DVR usage, initially, for its new crime drama, The Bridge, and total viewership grew by 53%. I have more for you on that in today's newsletter and at our website. In syndication, the upcoming off-network airing of TNT drama Rizzolian Isles, which begins in fall 2015, has now been cleared in 95% of the country, including 170 different stations. Now heading to the CW tonight, there are two series premieres. The first is a revival of former ABC series Whose Line Is It Anyway? It originally aired from 1998 to 2004. It was hosted by Drew Carey. Drew, of course, is busy on The Price is Right on CBS. So the new host is Aisha Tyler. And returning will be Wayne Brady, Colin Mockery, and Ryan Stiles. Now, you may recall that I was not a fan of Whose Line Is It Anyway initially. Chances are I'm not going to like it again, but I will sample it tonight. There are two episodes, and this is the way for the CW to test the waters in comedy. It has been thinking about doing comedy again. We'll see what happens. I would not expect much. And it will lead into the debut of a new half hour called... Perfect Score, which is a combination of relationship and game. It will air two episodes as well from 9 to 10 p.m. I have more for you on it in today's newsletter and at our website. Now let's head to Today in TV History. I have two items for you. On this day in 2004 was the debut of Stargate SG-1 spin-off Stargate Atlantis. It aired for five seasons, producing 100 episodes and... On this day in 1990, let's see if you remember, ABC premiered a new late-night talk show. It was a half hour. It was called Into the Night with Rick Dees, and it only aired for one season. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights. On this very warm day in New York, I hope everybody stays cool on the East Coast, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.